Hello and welcome to this time of online worship with Duffus Spiney and Hopeman Parish. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you regularly watch our videos, no matter what your background or where you're joining us from, you are very welcome. Today we're going to be thinking about Sanctuary Sunday and a part of that we'll be looking at Acts 4 verses 1 to 22. In that, a particular focus is on the people being silenced, following people exclaiming and being aware of the miracles that Peter and John were administering in the power of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. So we think today of all the people, all the groups that might be silenced or oppressed in their lives. This can be many people, many different groups who can have disabilities, can have incapacities. It can be my own minorities, the asylum seekers, those who maybe practice different faith from ourselves. We consider these as we listen to the Acts reading, verses 1 to 22. Peter and John were still speaking to the people when some priests, the officer in charge of the temple guards, and some Sadducees arrived. They were annoyed because the two apostles were teaching the people that Jesus had risen from death, which proved that the dead will rise to life. So they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day, since it was already late. But many who heard the message believed, and the number grew to about 5,000. The next day the Jewish leaders, the elders and the teachers of the law gathered in Jerusalem. They met with the high priest Annas and with Caiaphas, John, Alexander and the others who belonged to the high priest's family. They made the apostles stand before them and asked them, How did you do this? What power do you have or whose name did you use? Peter, fool of the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being questioned today about the good deed done to the lame man and how he was healed, then you should all know, and all the people of Israel should know, that this man stands here before you completely well, through the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified and whom God raised from death. Jesus is the one of whom the scripture says, the stone that you, the builders, despised turned out to be the most important of all. Salvation is to be found through him alone. In all the world there is no one else whom God has given who can save us. The members of the council were amazed to see how bold Peter and John were and to learn that they were ordinary men of no education. They realised then that they had been companions of Jesus, but there was nothing that they could say because they saw the man who had been healed standing there with Peter and John. So they told them to leave the council room, and then they started discussing among themselves. 
What shall we do with these men? they asked. Everyone in Jerusalem knows that this extraordinary miracle has been performed by them, and we cannot deny it. But to keep this matter from spreading any further among the people, let us warn these men never again to speak to anyone in the name of Jesus. So they called them back in, and told them under no condition were they to speak or to teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, You yourselves judge which is right in God's sight, to obey you or to obey God. For we cannot stop speaking of what we yourselves have seen and heard. So the council warned them even more strongly and then set them free. They saw it was impossible to punish them because the people were all praising God for what had happened. The man on whom this miracle of healing had been performed was over 40 years old. Amen, and may God bless this reading of God's holy word. This prayer was taken from the God with us resource. Let us pray. Gracious and merciful God, we gather in one heart and mind to pray for all families and individuals who have left or fled their country, their land, their homes, seeking safer and better lives. We lift up to you their hopes and dreams, their fears and anxieties, and all their needs and necessities, and pray that they may be protected on their journeys, their dignity and rights may be fostered, honored, and upheld, and they may be welcomed with open arms into generous and compassionate communities. God of life, we bring before you our lament for the dead, stranded at the borders of safety, who died fleeing through deserts, over mountains and seas. We call to you and join in the cry of all those who sought justice and a better life for themselves and their children and perished in the process. God of justice, we bring before you political leaders advisors and decision makers who uphold the faith of others in their hands. Make them aware of the causes of migration and flight. Keep their consciences alive so that refugees are offered protection and dignity. Let them agree rules of residence that are based on human rights and guided by solidarity and compassion. God of peace, give us the strength to be witnesses of the suffering of the world and fill us with the fire of your spirit to renew our efforts to serve those in need and give us the grace to welcome, learn, and share our lives with people who come to live in our communities. All this we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Let us now join our hearts in Lord's Prayer and our Lord's Prayer is in Urdu. Let us pray. I am Ariba, Tujo Asman Pathe, Tera Naam Paat Mana Chai, Teri Baat Shahi Aai, Teri Marzi Jaisi Asman Pathuri Hoti Hai Zameen Pathi Ho. Amare Rose Ki Roti Aaj Hame De, Amare Kusura Ko Ma, क्योंकि हम भी अपने कसूरवारों को माफ करते हैं हमें आजमाइश में न डाल बल्कि बुराई से बचा क्योंकि बादशाह खुदरत 
और जलाव अब तक दे रहे हैं आगे Go now in peace and the blessing of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit go with us all and all whom we love this day and always amen mm-hmm.